I'm in Dhaka, the capital city of Bangladesh, and I'm here to learn about some of the issues that children have to face, most prominent of which is child labour. Last soccer aid, I went to a busy metal factory in central Dhaka. Many of the workers there were children. Instead of being in school, these children were all working here to support their families. It's noisy and it's dangerous. And some children here are incredibly young. <laughs> Alamin has never been to school. This is the only life he knows. Oh. Alamin lived behind the factory itself. Can I go in? You all right, mate? Thank you. With his sister, his mum, and their kitten, Minu. They all shared just one room. Alamin used his wages to pay for his sister to go to school. He had given up his childhood to support his family. This is just an amazing boy you've rose with the most amazing smile and a big heart. That was really hard to hear. He's got to provide for his whole family at that age, and we, we pop in here for a day or two, and we see it, and then we leave. This is that wee guy's life. There are children like Alamin working in hazardous conditions all over the world. UNICEF wants to support children and their families to help them get out of these situations. One of the ways is through learning hubs like this one. Hi, <laughs> kids, you all right? Here, they learn essential skills like reading and writing, and they can play and just be children. This reminds me of a beauty. Ah! It's amazing to see kids' imagination, the fun they were having, the smile they were having. So speaking to Alman, when I asked him what he wanted to be when he grew up, all he says he wanted to do was work and provide for his mum. We spoke to two kids there when I asked them, one wanted to be a doctor and one wanted to be a pilot. And that's the difference a place like that can make. With your donations, UNICEF can help get children like Alamin out of work and help them dream of a brighter future. Please do give what you can. Thank you.